Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Shadowrun Returns. When we last left off, we jacked into the Matrix to find out some interesting information about the Ripper. He faked his own death and is now taking the identity of some medical guy. And We need to go and bring him to justice. Justice! So let's get on with the rest of the game. We're here with Mr. Delilah. We're going to talk and get a crew together. I need to hire a crew. Let's see... I know I'm going to take him. God, the mages are so expensive. Uh, oh, we can take Shannon. Nice, we can always put Shannon back on our team. I'm down for that. How much money do I have? 9,000. I'll take Shannon. I'll take which mage? Let's see, we got... Well, we've got level 2 spells now. Uh, let's take him. Since 3,200, mm. we'll take both mages again. I guess, yeah, it's cheap enough. It's not bad. Down, 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 down. Let's confirm that. Let's get going. Head to the Mercy Mental Mercy Mental Hospital to confront Doctor Holmes. Let's go. Let's go to that hospital and go. You're no doctor. Mercy Mental Hospital. The blood you found at the warehouse belongs to a man masquerading as one Dr. Holmes, and if you've tracked him to Mercy Mental Hospital, located in the, the notoriously anti-meta human farmlands of Sonomish, the drive to the hospital is long and unpleasant. Finally, you reach the Walden Gate Hospital compound. Despite the pretense of security, the gate is unguarded, unlocked, and open. No one stops or greets you as you drive up to the large, crumbling building. Gothic ramparts top as atop a damaged roof, cracked walls, and broken windows. All around the building is a lawn gone wild. Only the artificial light from within speaks of inhabitants. You walk up to the hospital you walk up the hospital steps to confront Sam Watts killer and bring the an emerald bring an end to the Emerald City River. He's in Oz. All the little the munchkins are being murdered everywhere. We represent the lollipop death. Uh, let's see Shannon's got a gun, level two. Haste. All right, let's get going. Let's go ahead and take out this guy. This guy's going down, downtown. Uh, unspent karma. Eh, it depends on how much I have. Let's go ahead and spend some karma. I got twelve. Um, I do want to get another etiquette. I think. I think that's what I was working on. Oof. Six to get another etiquette. Dang. Um. Hmm. Or do I want some more? You know what? We're we're good as is. I get so hem haughty about points. Let's talk to the receptionist. Hey guy, don't don't bother. Don't mind me. I'm just a guy with a mask and three or two other guys with me. Welcome, sir. What business brings you to Mercy Mental Hospital? I'm here to see Dr. See Holmes. Dr. Holmes. Ah, a new customer. Please wait in the common room up ahead. I'll notify the good doctor. Yeah, we'll go wait in the common room, alright. We'll go and be so common in the room. Can I move the... There we go. I was like, can I move the freaking... Uh, camera? That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm having trouble finding words today. It's an automa automated medication dispensary. It doesn't recognize you, so nothing happens. We have Lorraine and Donnie. Let's talk to... Let's go look at the clock. What's on the clock now? And there's a crazy guy. Hello, crazy guy. The clock stopped. It's probably been displaying the time from 40 years ago. Well, we're back in the past. What do you gotta say, Lorraine? What's shaking? Hey, guy. Have you seen Josie? Uh, uh, maybe I have. Wait, wait, you saw him? No, no, wait. I've seen you. I've never seen you. You can't have seen Josie. You aren't a doctor either. Oh, I just... I feel really lost without him. Josie always helps me out. Oh, wait, Josie's a man? <laughs> He's THE man! You'd just know it if you saw him. He used to be an urban brawl star. He says he was on the Screamers for a while in the old glory days. He looks the part, so I believe him. He's got a super brawl gold ring he always wears. Urban brawl, huh? I couldn't see an ex-brawler becoming a celebrity around here. No, that's a rough profession. 
<laughs> like all those are like jerk answers. Not too rough for Josie. He says he went whole seasons without any injuries. He's usually play playing outrider though. Will you at least help me look for him? I have this key I swiped off the day guard, but they keep a close eye on us. If you could have a peek in the infirmary and see if there's a record or something, he might just be in a cool off room. They won't tell me. Mm. Uh, n ugh, no sweat. I can see. Really? Really? Great. Wish everybody was as nice as you. Not like my mom. Wow, this got weird all of a sudden. Not like my mom. She's a bitch. Hello, stranger. You look new here. Are you new here? Uh, looking for Dr. Holmes. Donnie's face blanches. Uh, I don't think you really want that. Not really. What's that supposed to mean? Around here, you don't want to attract the attention of the doctor. If you stay quiet, life is much easier. Much easier. I'm Splitty McFarkles. Who are you? Name's Donnie. That's my name, Donnie. D O N N Y. I knew I didn't recognize you. I know everybody in this place. Everybody, well, everybody on the first two floors. Anyone I should look out for, Donnie? No, not on this floor. The only us calm ones are allowed up in the cafeteria. If you're violent, you have to eat in your room. Doing a health and safety check for the corporate office. Well, you don't want to talk to me. I don't work here. I'm not crazy enough for that. I should go. Um, hmm. I already can. I can already sense the fight's about to happen, or a fight. Well, what's 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 up with the computer? Oh yeah, I can't. I need a little thing to jack with it. Sir, when, oh, sure, whenever you want to break. I thought he was talking to me. Uh, let's open up a door. Go down this hallway. Oh, this, oh, that doesn't look. That looks bad. The stench of blood and mold gets even stronger as you move closer to the infirmary. Um, so yeah, there's, there's an arm here. That's probably not good. A severed arm lies next to the zipped body bag. The arm looks human and appears ne neatly severed at the elbow. There's a large gold ring on the index finger. Its owner is probably the occupant of the bag. Oh, great. You slip the heavy ring off the cold finger and feel its weight in your hand. Inside is an engraving. It reads, Screamers 2048. Well, uh, he's dead. <laughs> Found him. The surgical cart is strewn with gruesome tools, motorized saws, and metal... V something, something. I don't think that was metal. I speak good English. You find an unlabeled trivid, trivid disc, and you have no way of playing back the disc at this time. Unless this has a playback. No, it doesn't. The patient information of Josiah C. Dawson is opened up on the cyber terminal. Read the medical history. Mm, date of birth. Oh, he's, he's going to get born this year. Welcome to the world, Josiah. Allergies none, status deceit. Well, yeah, he's kind of dead. Read the attached notes. Patient had an undocumented cyberware in the left arm, as well as multi multiple pieces of shrapnel in various locations. Complications would likely arise if transplanted to another host. The rest of the body is in excellent condition and can be used to improve other subjects as well as fulfill some custom requests. What in the hell does that mean? There's some shady stuff going on around here. Just the place Splitty McFarkles wants to examine. Oh, yeah. Hey, your buddy. Um, I got some bad news. So, so did you see anything? Yeah, I'm not sure how to put this. What? Tell me. Did he, did he get released? Hmm, let's give her the ring. Y you mean he... Oh, God. Well, thanks for your help. The noise of a scratchy PA system blasts through the room. Attention, Splitty McFarkles. Please report to the North Hall to meet with the administrator. Uh, oh, I was about to say, uh, karma. Love some karma. Okay, administrator. Let me in. Something tells me... Oh, crap. It's that guy. Well, hello, buddy. The elf standing before you may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. His meticulous clean lab coat, formal jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. As you approach the window, he locks eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Good day to you. How can I help you? Mm. 
<laughs> Dr. Holmes, I presume? You're a hard man to reach, considering you're, especially considering you're dead. I'm sorry, who is dead? He acts genuinely confused, and he, he can't seem to drop the smile from his lips. Cut the act, Doc. I know you killed the real Holmes, and I know you're running around town carving up people for parts. My word! Such violent paranoia hits a pity. But what should I expect? This is a place for broken things, after all. And you are so very broken. Guards! Well, it's about what I figured was going to happen. Ow! Oh, okay, you don't tell me to get on the ground and start shooting me. Uh, no, I don't want the shotgun. No, where's the other gun? There it is. Eat SMG. Wow! That's damage. Hmm. Oh, drop the key. Item picked up. Guard key. First things first, we're going to go ahead and heal me. Something tells me this isn't going to be the last person we're going to be fighting in here. Get everybody prepared. In the turn, Splitty McFarkles is going to get the door. After she gives me haste. I am so fast now. Quick like a bunny. Can I open up the door? No, people are in my way, apparently. Hello, guard. You are going to take cover behind stuff that doesn't really give you cover. But you're going to get out of my way. That's the good thing. Oh, you can actually cast a spell. Hmm. Hmm. Give Splitty McFarkle some accuracy. Get up close enough. Yeah, that's about close enough, I would think. The nearby intercom speaker crackles to life. The vo What is that over there? That does not look good. <laughs> the voice of Dr. Holmes begins to blare from it. Attention all personnel! We have a dangerous patient loose inside the facility. Subject is a male dwarf, but may be coordinating with other violent offenders. Use all necessary force. So... But I guess I do look kind of crazy in my fancy mask and whatnot. Mm, you're going to need to really kill this guy. Do you have a spell that can do it? Oh, flamethrower 2 at 82%. How do you That's how spellcasting sounds. Uh, we can get a... Please don't be over there. Okay. Oh, it's just, just an elevator. I can take that does look kind of scary. Um, something tells me we are going to have to come face to face with that eventually. They would not just put that there going, you're not going to see him again. No way. Oh, fast, speedy, quick like a bunny. The epic going down the Elevator. So epic. Yes, keep exiting the characters. All characters must exit. Halls of ha uh, halls of disrepair. As you venture deeper into the asylum, you see the inside is very bit as bad as the outside. Gone is any attempt to uphold sanitary hospital aesthetics. With peeling paint, cracked floors, and exposed conduit, the pretense of, a me of mental care is shattered. In this modern era, Mercy Mental Hospital is a throwback to the barbaric asylums of old, prisons and torture chambers rather than places of healing. It's clear that Dr. Holmes is spending his money on something other than his, this facility. You continue on. Holmes can only run so far. Ooh, chilling. He can run, but Splitty McFarkles will catch him with his stubby legs. Oh, that's a lot of people. Mm. First things first, might as well get some haste again on Splitty McFarkles. Because I'm sure this is going to start a fight. And it already did. Hmm. Oh, no, that's, that's not good. Reload. Does it reload as I go down an elevator? What was I doing the whole time? Hmm. Okay. 
Is there anybody down there? No. Okay. It's a violent patient and another hospital guard. I really hope that violent patient doesn't decide to be violent with me. Give me the accuracy up. Meiji spell spell. Hmm. Twelve damage. That wasn't nearly as much as. Oh, that's not good. Ow. Hey, hey, where you going? Oh. Yes, beat him in the face. And Splitty McFarkles will finish him off. Now, you're not going to be crazy, are you? You're going to be crazy, aren't you? Uh, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to attack the patient. It's not his fault, or is it? Or is it? Um. Uh, I'm of two minds. Look, huh? Shoot him! Don't shoot him! Shoot him! Don't shoot him! Uh, we'll see if you leave me alone in the next turn. If not, I'm gonna have to put you down, buddy. I don't. I don't want to. I sounded so... Yeah. Mm. Come on, friend. And you, come over here. I don't know why you're leading the charge. Is he gonna run over here? He's, uh, he's coming at me, isn't he? Uh, I don't want to do this. Splitty McFarkles defends the... Violent patients. And that turn. Oh, there's another enemy here. Alright. Let's go forward to right here. The intercom begins speaking as soon as you approach. Holmes must be watching from somewhere. You don't understand, do you? This is a place for broken things. But only by further breaking, breaking them can they be remade. And so we must break you. Um, no thank you. I do not want to be broken. I am pretty good as a solid object. I am fine with that. Being solid object is okay with me. Woo! <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Woo! They're cheering me on. Uh, please don't be anybody in here. Uh, of course there's people in here. There's violent patients. Um, actually, I do, wait, who has the AoE? Nah, hold, hold on a second. I know someone has an AoE. It's him. Okay. I need you paste him this time. So I want him to actually run over here and AoE them. That's not bad. Can you see that one? No, you can't. Poop. Ooh, nice miss. Oh, I killed it. Good job. Good job, everybody. We're a good team. We're a good team of teamy people. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. I don't I don't want I don't wanna I don't wanna Splitty McFarkles will show up and um, let's see. I'm guessing that there's somebody over here that's gonna have a gun. Or it's just a bunch of unstable crazy people. Maybe we can get out of here without having to fight the rest of them. If we run, we run, we run so far away. Okay, cowboy, you don't need to keep, you don't need to go so far. Now. We're good. In turn, they're gonna. St oh wait, where'd you get a handgun? Ah. Uh. I'm sorry, you can't be shooting at me. I... 
Oh, that's for shamans. It's like, what the hell? I need my other guy to sh Oh, this is... <sighs> well, let's see if we can get... That's a handgun? I thought that was a shotgun. I am very highly confused right now. <laughs> well, I just wasted some money. <laughs> well, I guess not, but... <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. I feel really bad that we have to take out those guys. Uh, oh, no. And reload. Right. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go over here. Is there anybody? Anybody new? Oh, uh, there's an ex surgeon with a gun. Hopefully, he, he, has the, he has a shotgun. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually just going to kill you. Or not. This whole killing you thing is starting to become a little bit more difficult than I thought. Oh, he has two AoE... I feel so doom -y. He has two AoEs. Oh, well. Please, please, sir. I'm gonna use this thing that is apparently a pistol but looks kinda like a sawed-off shotgun to shoot you. Okay, he's right in front of you. Right in front of you. And then let's reload. All right, and turn again. I like having I like having where all my guys can run it, run in at once, just in case. Oh, that that doesn't look very hospitable. This is not going to go very well for anybody. Hello? Is anybody up here? <laughs> I really hope not. I don't feel like dying. Hello? I, I'm scared about what's going to be over here. Okay. Surgical kit contains a gate key. Can I pick it up? There's an unlabeled trivia disc in the second drawer. Okay, but the smell of rotting flesh is, imme is immense. The remains appear to be from multiple metahumans. Did I just pick up a key for something? Um, is the door unlocked now? Yes, it is. Okay. Run backwards, everybody! We're not retreating, we're going to the gate! We're, we're, we're retreating to the gate. We don't retreat! No, we do not give up. Um, that guy, there we go. There better not be something nasty when I open up this door. I'll be very disappointed if when I open up this gate, if there's something in there that wants to kill me. There's probably going to be something that wants to kill me. Shadow ready. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. And... Run in blindly! Oh, there's nobody here. From another intercom, Dr. Holmes continues, Someone once told me that I was a broken thing, but he also said I could remake myself. 
He wanted to break me down so I could put myself back together again. And I did, but only after I broke him. I could remake you as well. What wonderfully twisted thoughts must churn in a mind such as yours. But I'm more inclined to use you for parts. Um. Hello, guy that I thought was going to be scary, and he's very scary. Oh, well, not that scary, since I've almost killed your ass. <laughs> I don't necessarily see something that big going. I see it going. But, you know, whatever. I don't know my death screams. Get lined up. I'm gonna go to the next door. No, no, I want you to. Yeah, I want you to. Right there. There you go. Good boy. You and your trenchy, over Cody hoodie looking thing. Time for Splitty McFarkles to do what he does best. Run! Run in wildly and hopefully not die. There's no de no defense anywhere. I need I need defense. Oh, you have a big shiny machete. Mm. Ah! You are oh well, like well well that's. Yeah. Not the best place to stand when I need the ley line for a spellcaster. Do I use? No, nope, no spell. Do you have a gun, or is it just a? Yeah, you do have a gun. You did your ten damage. You are good enough. Uh... You miss though. Just a sparkly ball of color going. Bloo, bloo, bloo. Don't hit me. Yes. Uh, I'm just gonna use this. And... Ha! Reload. Let's move Shannon up. I really like her character. I I love having the haste. It's very nice. Now, Ley Lines, what they do is when you put a Spellcaster on them, they can shorten the cooldowns of spells, make them a little bit stronger. It's really good, but they're kind of a pain sometimes. By all, by all, me by all means, come if you have proven yourself truly a fine specimen. I can think of a hundred uses for each of you. The Trivid player holds a collection of personal diaries. Some of the video files are missing. Insert and play back Tridio 1. Got some cutout chips last week. Tried them out on the patients with violent flashbacks, hoping it would act as at least mellow them out. Uh, it was like a night and day. Once the chip was installed, all of their psychotic break triggers were blocked. Miss Yuskin has gone four days without attacking the staff or herself. The trivia player, holy yeah, okay. In today's interview, Miss Yuskin told me she hated her legs. She said they were stumpy, unattractive. I haven't done a transplant in years, but I offered to give her new legs. Her face lit up like it was Christmas. At least cut, at least her cut out can block, at least her cut out can block out the sur surgery and painful recovery process. I've put in an order to the organ grinders to send me anything leggy. Maybe I'll get some elf legs in and see how she likes them. Playback Treaty of Six. I was walking to the organ grinders downtown and there was some kind of event happening at Mega Media. They had a puppet there from Mariah Mercurial's label with the Persona Fix chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. They were just using her to hawk some Siamese re-release of a Mercurial live show, but it gave me an idea. The cutouts, the body modifications, and my healthy supply of patients. I'm perfectly set up to be a Bunraku bon fixer. 
If I can ha find a supplier for Persona Fix chips, I can sell the full service Bunraku, even program the behavior trees. Found a buyer for the first Ben Bunraku. A man of the Barons offered me 20000 for the female troll I've been modifying. He likes them big, he says. All that's left is to arrange delivery. He says he can put me in touch with some more buyers if I accommodate special orders. These morons' lives are already over anyway. Least they can do is line my pockets. So, this guy's been doing some obviously shady stuff. Which, you know, surprise, surprise, evil guy being evil. New view in place over here. And go down. We shall all exit the scene. The Emerald City Ripper. Before you use a medical lab, turn torture chamber. The smell of old blood and decayed flesh permeates the room. Gory stains speak of the bodily body's fluids spilled without regard for well-being or hygiene. There are bodies, probably former patients, trapped in hideous machines. And during horrific experiments, the subjects you can see all appear dead. Any that aren't must wish they were. You've chased Holmes to his lair. Just as his face reveals an ugly soul, so does his safe haven. So it would seem. Holmes, Silas, the Emerald City Ripper, the elf is a monster beyond compare. It's time to end this. Is it? And it will be time to end this next time, guys. We'll take out Silas and see what happens. Until then, you guys all have a good one and take care.